Here we go. Hey y'all, what's going on? <laughs> I don't even know what we're gonna talk about first. How is he been gonna go down? But and y'all, it's just a little dark in here. It is what it is. And you know, it is what it is. Okay. So I wanna talk about the R and B divas and the Bad Girls Club. And again, just like Love and Hip Hop and Married to Medicine, I don't want to go through scene for scene. Like I, I'm that's not what you're gonna get with me. Like I can't. I, you know, I just can't. So, oh, let's see. Let's go with the Bad Girls Club. We're gonna get this shit over with. Okay, so we know from last week that they have a new girl. Red and lost her fat motherfucking mind. Uh, just a whole bunch of shit going on. Okay, ushering into this week. Now, this week, yet again, we have Miss Honey Cabbage, the one that thinks she's so gorgeous with this blonde hair. You know, mad because she got exed out, mad because somebody didn't do a certain thing. You got Red mad at old girl, the new girl, for whatever the reason is, and I still haven't figured out why she's mad. Now, old girl is mad because... You know, supposedly, you know, from last time the girl said, um, she repeated what old girl said and yada, yada, this and that and other, which was ridiculous. Like, I don't even know where to get this excuse from. But one of them said something that stood out to me. And I, I don't know, was it Brittany or the other girl that wears the cap? Said that it's something about this house being in this house that makes you bad. Like, it makes you be dysfunctional as hell. And I believe that because I believe that most of them hoes, like the Fab Four, is showing out. And I will exclude Blue, but Blue, honey, you and that Blue her, occasionally, you know what I mean? Like, you just as bad if you don't have something to say. If you don't speak up for the right thing, you just as bad as them hoes. You know what I mean? And like, now you all in your feelings because you digging on girl. Plus, you got a girlfriend. And it's like now you all in your feelings, which I'm glad because I've liked you from the beginning. I'm glad you all in your feelings. Maybe we can get some act right because they, you know, but anywho, y'all. Okay. So they don't want to be bothered with the new girl. They treating her mean. They still treating old girl mean the one that Red was damn near trying to rape. And I don't care what nobody say. That's how I see that shit. Um... They got her, her shunned, and then Slim. Now, here's the thing with Slim, because, y'all, she's beginning to grow on me a little bit. And at first, I was ticked off with her and the whole thing. She's pretty like me and this and that and other. And just how I felt she was throwing shade at Red. But at this point, I'm ready to say fuck some Red. I'm, I'm trying not to give up on her, but the bitch has been doing entirely too much. Especially for a bitch that is a rerun bitch like you recycle a whole bunch of outfits to be on TV. Now, there ain't nothing wrong with that. But any bitch that wants to act as grand as you do, have as much mouth as you do, yada, 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 girl, surely you're not recycling outfits. Let's move forward. Um, okay. So, at one point, oh, girl's on the phone with her girlfriend and y'all, whatever I want to see, you know. She done had old girl to come out and visit. And we're just going to kind of go with that. She got her girlfriend to come. Blue got her girlfriend to come. They sitting in there. They talking and hugged up. But then the new chick, she's sitting on the couch. And that was kind of awkward as hell, girl. Why was you over there? Like, what? You got walking? Anyway. So, she's dipping her chips in the evening. They talking. Meanwhile, Blue's trying to find a reason to be mad at old girl. And it's kind of like, you know, she's like, well, what? what's your problem? You know what I mean? Like, I'm visiting, uh, whatever. You know, I'm not bad about anything. So, they have their hoorah over the evening. Meanwhile, the rest of the girls are sitting up talking about how stupid and thirsty the new girl looks. And they talking about her eyebrows being separate. And this and that and other. If we're going to, are we really getting ready to start picking out shit like eyebrows? Small shit to talk about? Because everybody has something about them. 
I'm a big bitch, you got this gap, a whole host of things. But confidence reigns supreme with me. I wear my shit well. Why? Because I feel like I do. Now, it might look a hot motherfucking mess to you. But to me, I'm like, I'm going to roll with it. This is the cards that I was dealt, and it is what it is. And I'm going to be thankful for whatever it is. You know what? You know. But since y'all want to throw shade and talk about her eyebrows are apart, Miss Honey Cabbage was just blonde her, and you got the funkiest motherfucking weave I have ever seen in my life. Bitch, your leave out is so, you got pussy hair leave out. Bitch, your hair look like pussy hair. But yet, you always trying to talk about how good looking you are. Bitch, you low budget budget at best. Okay? Now, you're not bad looking, but your attitude and your personality and all of this anger that you got and all of this rudeness and clapping and dissing and, you know, all of that, bitch, you don't get nothing but socks in your motherfucking face doing all that, bitch. Why you, you know, fanning and shit and, you know, ushering on cars and doing whatever you're doing with your hands, a bitch be getting socked the fuck out of you. Anyway, let's move forward. That's your, I mean, you know, since we're going to talk about our brows, red. Girl, I, I don't want to be like, you don't feel no kind of way about making motherfuckers feel a certain way and you like, I'm going to torture somebody. And with that being said, bitch, I already know you the one that put that damn, I feel like you put that X on her face to get it started because you want old girl out. And you know that they got into an argument, so you feel like that's the kind of bitch you are. But I'm going to go ahead and get into your shit. Why the fuck do you have 40-inch hair in, bitch? I I'm trying to understand. You got at least, uh, I don't know, maybe $800 or so worth of hair, bitch. But every time I see you, you in $2 click clacks and motherfucking shorts and them same old damn leopard-ass pants, girls. Come on. You couldn't get a, a nothing on your, your, your check they owe you for the Bad Girls Club to buy you some clothes or something. You nice looking. But this dirty ass shit that you doing on the side like, bitch, you trying and it's like you want to lead this and lead that. But really what it is, though, is that as long as I throw shade to somebody else, as long as I keep shit going, they can't see me. I can hide behind that girl. I see you. Pretty girl. Really pretty girl. But your personality is fucked up. And you act evil as hell, bitch. You a malicious type of motherfucker. But that's okay. That's fine. But I will say, if y'all gonna start throwing shade at her eyebrows and to hear her say, I can't do nothing about it, why should it even be a point? Everybody has something about them. I'm, I'm just trying to understand. You know, you want to kick up all this thing and this and that and other. I'm going to make her miserable and blase and I'm just ready for her to leave. And, oh, I can't stand to see her talking. Oh, I can't do. Bitch, I can't stand to see them ugly ass motherfucking leggings you win every time I come on the show. And them run over heels. Don't do it. Moving forward. And now we will move to where I really don't want to have to. <laughs> And I guess this is just me saying how I feel about y'all, period. Brittany. Girl, I'm trying to ride with you because you're from my home state, bitch. I'm trying to ride with you. But you seem to kind of spearhead a lot of shit, too. You sit back. At first, it was like you was just kind of laid back a little bit. Don't fuck with me. I ain't fucking with you. But this particular one where you... Keep on talking about she ain't doing, she ain't acting, uh, that ain't how she really is. She fake, she this and that and other. She ain't sure. What do y'all want her to give y'all? Y'all bitches only been in that house but a short amount of time. And this is an issue with Red. Like, now you like slim because now she's beginning to talk a little bit more. Bitch, had you have gave her a chance from the door, which I will say ver vice versa to her because she seemed a little shady towards you. But that's some age old shit. Big chick, little chick throwing shade at each other when at the end of the day we are women we ain't cookie cutter you don't take no paper and cut us and then do it so we all the same no you know it ain't like that but Brittany girl I'm watching you cause you seem to be a little bit shady on this one I'm trying to ride with you I'm gonna give you one more week before I have to you know really check your boots but I'm gonna see if it you know I'm, I'm trying to ride but I am noticing some flaws in your shit 
as far as you pointing out every little thing somebody else is doing girl if they really doing it and and and, and it's really bold and they fake and they doing bogus ass shit bitch you ain't never got to point it out that shit gonna stand out anyway you know is it that you want them to stay on your side and don't go against your grain you know what I'm saying? Go against the grain. Like, I'm going to be cool with them. Just ride with them. I'm going to kick up a stink, you know, and just roll with them so they don't be on me. Fuck that. I wouldn't be in there blending. Fuck a blend. I would try to blend, but as far as, like, going against some other girls, are, are, are treating them the way y'all doing just to try to be the in crowd and the mean girls and all that, fuck all you motherfuckers when it comes to that. Fuck that. Because it ain't a bitch on earth that can't take a motherfucking ass whooping. And it ain't a bitch on earth that can't give one. Okay? So you got to bring some ass to get some ass, you bitches. And all that. <sighs> Stop it. Grow the fuck up. And try to embrace whatever they trying to give you. Y'all need to cling to that life, coach. You bitches need her there every day. Every day. Anywho. Now moving on. Did I talk about Blue? I'm going to need you to stand up, Boo. I like you, but I'm going to need you to stand up for what's right. But now they got you upset about some cuckoo that you want to click clack with, you might be getting ready to stand up and be like, that's petty. We live in this house together. I don't believe old girl did that. And then on top of that, what was the whole get down with? We're going to go out and we're going to leave the three lanes in and we the fab for... <laughs> You motherfuckers in there huddled together, whispering like little bitty ass teenage girls. You bitches look a fool. So y'all crept out when really the ladies had peace with y'all not being there. This is what I'm trying to understand. And then when you come in, somebody less crazy ass whose daddy is locked up, let her know there's an ex on her shit. And here we go. But I believe Red did that, bitch. I believe that's part of your plan. I believe you that devious kind of bitch that'll do that. Mm-hmm. I believe it. But, on top of that, one minute you was cool with old girl, one minute you trying to rape her. You cuddling, then you trying to rape her. And whatever you trying to do. And now you hate her, and you trying to make her miserable. And apparently on this next one, uh, shortly to come, y'all going to be boxing boots. But I hope she holds her motherfucking on. You a big, burly kind of bitch. So she's little. So you just if you just tumble on her, that's going to throw her off. You know, or uh, whatever. But I hope you achieve whatever it is you're trying to achieve. Now, with that being said, y'all come in, here go the big argument. <coughs> Miss Honey Cabbage with the daddy in there, oh, girl, then back down from you. And then you like, if I'm mad, I'm going to keep everybody up. I don't trust you. I don't do and you uh, uh, and all of that, bitch. What are you doing? Are we, are, are we dancing, girl? What these hands do? A motherfucker bit bop, hit you in your motherfucker face while you're doing all this. While you directing the choir, bitch, I'm going to see you in motherfucking face. Because you doing all this clowning and shit. All that lip japping and all that. That comes to a motherfucking close. What do all this? And you know. And bitch. Me and you. Uh, what? Sit your motherfucking ass down. And get your motherfucking leave out together bitch. Get that shit together. That's what you do. Anywho. So she ain't back down. Old girl blue is trying to talk to her. And like you know. She said, I'm not going to try to convince them when they've made up their mind. And I know that I didn't do it. Slim's like, she didn't do it, but she was gone off with her boyfriend. She didn't set up to have lunch with her dad, but her dad, you know, was like, no. She went off with her boyfriend and it's mature about it. Like, girl, I ain't got time for them X's and stars and zeros and all of that. You know, if anybody, if it wasn't red, I feel like it might could have been a girl to wear the hat or whatever who said she got anger issues, this and that and other. And when she was in school, she was beat up by this one and this and that and other. But girl, you got a little bit of heart because you ain't letting these bitches, you know, run you. So I have to appreciate you on that, you know. But I feel like they can let you go and everybody's mad at you now because Red's upset because she didn't get the click, clack, and sizzle. Girl, go on some motherfucking white bitch by the time. Okay, I'm not even going to. Uh-uh. Moving on along, what else? I, I mean, what else can I say about the Bad Girls Club? But, but except that, they look a motherfucking fool. Like, I'm trying to understand. And I hope that the tables turn 
And I hope that this shit gets turned on the motherfucker that it needs to be turned on. Because I'm going to tell Red and Brittany this. Not Brittany. Red and uh, Miss Honey Cabbage with the daddy in jail with the bad weed. Uh, I'm going to tell you this. And this is what I want you to know and watch and see what I say. If the shit go bad and the shit swift, watch and see how quick Brittany, uh huh, Miss Louisville, Kentucky, watch and see how quick she go to the other side and be like, you know what? I really didn't want to watch and see what happens. I feel like you two bitches going to be in it alone, but that's okay. That's okay. When really, y'all should be trying to embrace each other and try to learn things from each other. Even when y'all tried to sit down and have a talk, when old girl was trying to explain to y'all, y'all didn't want to hear it. Miss Honey still running her hands and this and that and other. Brittany saying whatever she's saying. She finally just walked off and you motherfuckers was like, I, no, you don't walk off, bitch. What do you mean? You don't walk off. What? So now you whores, cause y'all in there, y'all think y'all can tell a bitch when they can walk, when they can sleep, where they can go, how they can look, who they can fuck, who they got a color with. You motherfucking bitches better start worrying about your own motherfucking selves. Check your motherfucking self. I mean, like, now everybody got to do shit according to y'all. And did y'all happen to notice how when Blue said something, when she was in there talking to a girl, it's kind of like, what you doing in there with her? And she's like... We all got to live in here together, but she went back and looked like, <laughs> you bitches ain't going to stop me from doing what I want to do. And then when she was on the couch, she's like, okay, I see where this is going. Now, see, I think that she is one of those that will jump fool and you motherfuckers ain't going to be able to maintain her when she goes all the way off. And that includes you, Red Honey, when she jogs some of them. <laughs> Girl, okay. Anywho, y'all. The just of it is this. They as petty a bitches this week as they was last week. And Red's getting worse. Brittany's trying to show some colors. Girl, I'm trying to ride with you. I really am. And part of me want to be like, try to get with you and try to do an interview. But girl, mm -mm. <laughs> I really would like to. But the spirit is telling me I need to watch the show a little bit further before I make up my mind on that. Because I ain't got no motherfucking problem having three hots in a motherfucking cot. I don't have no, I don't feel no kind of way. I don't feel no kind of motherfucking way because, bitch, I got kids your age. But I would have to understand that you are a young woman and try to talk to you as such. I'm just hoping that you could rein this shit back in and save face. But right now, it's kind of looking like you, you know, putting fire on this shit. You making this shit worse. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what it's looking like to me. So, I'm going to still give you a chance because I hope that it's something completely different, you know. I'm going to ride and see, but y'all, it's really not that I want to talk about what happened on the shit. I want to talk about what it invoked in me. How it made me feel as I watched the shit. I would love to see all of these young ladies come out with, you know, an, you find out where the anger source is. What's upsetting them? I know what's upsetting Honey Cabbage with the bad hair. But, you know, really find out and learn how to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. I would love to see that. That would be what I would love to see the Bad Girls Club be. You brought your ass in here like this. But we want to send you out with, you know, the tools you need to change and blah, blah, blah. You know. It's like the motherfuckers that audition for this. Y'all go in that house and y'all try to outdo each other and act the biggest fool. Like, it don't take much to jump fool. It really don't. At all. You know, but but I tell you what's hard is to motherfucking hold your composure when another bitch is jumping food with you. Now, that's hard. Mm -hmm. That's hard. Mm -hmm. It is. To hold your motherfucking tongue and catch that bitch on another day. To do things in its order and the way it should be done. To still be a woman and a lady even after you check a bitch. Because you ain't got to cuss a bitch to check her. You know what I mean? Like, cussing and all that. These words don't mean shit. It's just, you know, the word I chose to use. You know what I mean? 
but when you can't control yourself let her let her trick know what she did to you as far as run a foul to you but you ain't got to cuss her this and that and other let her know what it is and let her know where you stand and just walk off and be done with it it ain't always got to be about hands and clapping and all of that and what it do boo and all no Mm -mm. it don't have to be but anyway y'all that's what i thought it really i didn't really talk about what went on on the bad girls club because <laughs> Oh, and another thing, do y'all did y'all really want us to believe that y'all went on the internet and said, Oh, we're gonna try to find something new to do. We bored, please. They set that shit up for y'all and ain't never one of you bitches who really wants to do that shit. See, I'm a different kind of hoe, because I'd have been trying to find out Red how I could have ran that motherfucker up your back. But we'll move forward. Had I been a girl who you was trying to get the cookies from. You know, but we'll move forward. Anywho, off of that, y'all, that's just how the fuck I feel about them. Now, if y'all would rather me go Barbados, what happened, I can try to do that. Leave that shit below. But this is just what the fuck I feel and what I feel like I want to say about these bad girl hoes. So, moving on, though. R&B Divas. Okay. Did I not tell y'all that Booger Wolf was overstepping her boundaries. This bitch was sneaky. She had her hands in this and that. Girl, I seen you. And like I said last time, um, you and this whole hush. Bitch, you, you better tell your kids that. That's what you better do. You better motherfucking tell your kids that, bitch. You'll never tell me. At any rate, come on, let's move forward. On this one, apparently, uh, sorry, I'm looking. Apparently, Kiki wants to sing country. Okay. And she might have something with that. Okay. You know, when she went on and stuff, she, she wants to sing it, but she's like, I don't think they will accept me. It's like, you got to be white to sing country. Which, yeah, most country singers, I mean, 90% of them are white, you know, but I would assume, you know, you could sing it if you sang it well enough. I don't know. Maybe you worried about how to be perceived by both sides of the fence, you know, by your community and by theirs. Um, you have that whole thing and, you know, you're, you, you're getting ready to prepare to do that. Now, in the midst of that, and y'all, real quick, I want to say this because I... I said, I want to know why that girl ain't singing, Latavia. Well, if you're on the Much Love page, Facebook page, you will have seen by now the video that I posted of her sounding like a sick seal. Okay, just, I, I swear, and one of my loves said, was that a kazoo? I'm not going to put up with y'all. I'm not going to. I want to say... That at some point you had, and, and it ain't even I want to say, you had a voice, but I think what happened with her, real talk, y'all, I think that she, you know, got out there on some drugs and things like that. She hasn't been using that muscle, like she said, and all of that. And, you know, if you smoke or anything or whatever, you know, that bothers your voice. You know, it's a problem, you know, so I think. She doesn't want to look bad. She knows what she's dealing with. When she was with that vocal coach and 702 when with her, which I do like the way she's being supportive. And she is beginning to grow on me a little bit more. You know, sometimes she, I don't know, she kind of pulls on me a little bit. But she, you know, trying to be supportive. But she do stand her ground, though. So I got to say kudos to her on that. But she did go with her saying, it's nothing wrong with going to a vocal coach and blah, blah, blah. And there's nothing wrong with that. To keep your, your craft going and that muscle going and working it out and this and that. Now that you know the pro basketball players, football players, they work out. Tennis, they work it. You know what I mean? They do what they have to do to maintain. So there's nothing wrong with that. So she gets in there and she begins to the, the coach is like just do this and they talk and it's like she opened her mouth, and I'm like, okay, I see where she's going with this. Now, all of this happened. This came about 
after the whole get down when they was trying to go together and go sit down and talk about what they're going to do. Of course, Angie's there and they're going to try to rehearse and she's on the piano and she's going to tell Latavia, we're going to start with you first. Angie, what we need to do first is get a motherfucking booger puller, a wart burner. Whatever that shit is up in your nose, we need to check that first. Then we need to move forward. What is this about? And then you trying to have it like, I wouldn't be a sister if I didn't tell you. We're not going to enable. Bitch, that ain't what it's about. It's about you making coin and wanting that shit to go on, bitch. You're not caring about whether she's enabled or not, bitch. Come on now. Uh-uh. No, I'm not buying it. And then when the rest of the ladies was like, you know, the girl is looking flushed, frustrated. You ain't going to stop as usual. Monifa, she's going to stand in and say what's on her mind. And you and her been kind of button heads anyway. Like, let her alone and let it go. And it's like, like they said, the shit went over your head and you're going to keep on talking about it. Every one of the ladies was like, damn, she don't want to do it. Let's move forward. But your black ass can't do that. And bitch, I had to say that to you because you irritate the fuck out of me. You do. Because you pressing her. Now, she's at a fragile point or whatever. It's probably taking her a long time to get her life back in order. And I will I will say this. Latavia, why are you on the R&B Divas? When you know that your voice is not ready, you don't want to say, why are you on there? Because if it was to catapult you into something else, I, I think you just don't there for the money that it's giving you. You know what I mean? Because to be quite honest, y'all, that ship has sank. But then she said on the last episode, she said the, that the Lord told her to do not get back on that stage. Now, if that's the case, then girl, you need to stay true to the Lord and don't do that. And I understand that and appreciate that. I just don't understand why you are on the R and B divas. Why are you on anything that has to do with singing? Because I don't understand it. Now, if you want to write songs, then say that shit. Be on the R and B diva. Write, write songs, bitches. Some shit. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck. The R and B divas lawn service. I don't care, bitch. But not singing. You know, like why are you doing that? But I don't think you need to be badger. Now, Monifa's trying to help you because she understands where you've been at. Because she's been through it and she has, you know, rose above that. And she really earnestly cares. It seems to me that all of them do seem to be concerned. But except Angie, because this bitch is self-absorbed. This bitch, thank God, she's the oldest, wrinkless bitch on the earth. That she can tell you to shush. She know everything. She did everything. Bitch, come on. Uh-uh-uh. Mm-mm. I don't see it for you. When I think of inspiration, inspirational black women, you're not on the list. But we'll move forward. You probably inspire somebody. It's just not me. You know, and you wanted to be out controlling and want people to stop talking, girl. If you, Oh, God, y'all. I'm telling you, <laughs> I will have all out of frame because I will tell a bitch, you don't never tell me this shush. I don't give a fuck. Who CD you was on, bitch? I don't care who you got kids by, bitch. I don't care how old you are. You're not my mom or my aunt or whatever. You know, you're not going to do it. With that being said, let me say this. I respect my elders, but I'm saying this bitch, she is, it's like she's the only one grown and she's in there. She's the teacher and they, the pupils. Girl, sit down. Sit your ass down. Anyway, so at a point while they're in there, she's bugging her. Everybody's getting frustrated. Latavia just walks out and leaves, which I don't blame her. Which, I mean, it was like, how come you can understand what she was telling you? Leave it alone. But, bitch, how you got on your mind is, I want to get this done, honey. I'm trying to get out there. I'm trying to do plays, make biscuits, sing, sell these boogers. You trying to do everything. Moving on forward. Okay, in the midst of that, another part that just blew me out of the water, and I've already talked about the topic trying to say your voice was not there, but you're trying to get it there, and that's what I'm going to say, but girl, on that one tape, oh girl, 
you did sound like a kazoo. But we'll move forward. As Justin says, expeditiously. <laughs> I think that's what Justin says. That's smoothly, expeditiously, whatever. He cracks me up when he says that. Shout out to Justin. Um, okay. So, Monifa's singing. She sounds good and all of this. You know, yada, yada, yada. And here comes Selena. Okay, Selena comes in. She wants to talk to Monifa. She tells Monifa they're talking about this tour or something, blah, blah, blah. And Angie said the money's not there or whatever. It's not enough. Come to find out, Angie, you and your warts and boogers got on the phone and backdoored the deal, and you're going on the tour. Bitch, you's an underhanded hoe. You really, really are. You really, really are. And as much as I didn't like Square Bob, um, Square Pants or whatever, she kind of told the truth on your ass last season too. You are a snake in a way when it comes to the industry. And maybe that's why you still kind of hanging around or whatever, singing jingles and this and that and other. Because you know how to maneuver. You know, and you, you know, you know how to do that. So, Selena's hurting and she's like, what? Monique was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, what? You know, because Selena goes and talks to Moniva, Monifa, and she keeps her grounded, this and that and other. You know, they talk and they seem to be the closest. And I'm sitting like, okay, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Selena, why are you sharing anything with Angie? But then you went on to say, I looked up to her. And it's unfortunate because I know that that hurt your feelings. You know, on top of that, looking at what Faith did and all of that bullshit. And then we have this. So now you're thinking the whole time, this bitch is disingenuous about every damn thing. This, this bitch is rotten. You know. Okay, so y'all have that. Then, there was a point, we're going to go back to Kiki. Now, Kiki is getting ready. She's going to sing her shit. Now, early on, her and her husband had went to this place, and they found it was a lovely place. She's going to sing. The divas are there, and they go behind, you know, behind stage, and this and other. She's getting ready, and she's like, I'm not the nervous type, and yada, 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 and she is nervous. She gets out there and just starts acting real odd, you know, but finally pulls the shit together. They like, oh, she's nervous. She finally pulls it together. Kiki, baby, your voice is outstanding. Your voice is outstanding. Your mother was so happy. Everybody was just blown away by your voice, but only you could stand in that bigger place out of all the divas between them. And do it the way you did it. And then you was like, I'm so glad y'all accepted me. And to see, you was very grateful. You sound wonderful. You look great and everything. Loved your hair this week. You sung your heart out. And I felt like, okay, there is the real Kiki. With all that extra shit, you know, with all the extra little quirky shit pushed aside. And I was really proud of her. And the lady stood up and they was happy. It was absolutely fabulous. It really, really was. Now, this went on after Selena had talked to Monifa and told her. So, Angie's, you know, they there. And it's, it, it, you know, but they carry on. She carries on as a woman or whatever. They hold this shit in. Okay. Now. And let me mention this because, well, let's get to this. Okay, so they're going to go and meet up and try to rehearse again. Of course, Angie is there. The first one want to say something. Yada, yada, yada. She's got a song already. She's probably hoping to pull a face on them and all of that. The same thing Faith did with the Grammy, thinking that's what it's going to be. You know, they seem to be into it, but you can kind of see that Selena was off. But what was so funny was this song was about sisters and sisterhood, this and that and other, which was like, okay, that's ironic, you know, that you would be singing about that. Finally, it's like Monifa can't take it no more after it's over. She's like, no, I don't believe it. You know, you're disingenuous or whatever she said. 
And, and she's like, no, I don't think so. I'm one of the realest people. And I think she tried to spark a tear or something. I don't know. I think some dust might have came out or something. I don't know. And she's talking about she's the realest in my heart and blah, 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 this and that. Now, the meanwhile, Selena's sitting over there like, Lord, Jesus, the last time I felt this way was when her and Nick Gilbert's square ass got into it. And she's like, oh, Lord, I need to get out of here or whatever. Bonifa just said what she had to say. Selena gets up and starts talking about how you begin to, she's going through a revelation. And baby, you put it so eloquently, honey. You said what needed to be said, and there is no way in the world Angie does not know what you're talking about. This bitch knew she did that. But of course, to her, it's not going to be a foul. She going to tell you some sob ass story, I'm sure, next week about, oh, I didn't know, oh, blah, 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 blah. Bitch, you know what you did. And you went on to say, you know, I'm sliding through this world as well, and this and that and other. You ain't perfect. You right, bitch, sliding, slithering, like I said, snake. Honey, Miss Selena was like, I, you know, people seeing people for who they are, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, Kiki's, and they, Kiki's like, wait a minute, who, who can we know who is the back of Selena's like, no, this ain't the time. She wants to get her coat and her bag and get the hell up out of there before her and Angie have true words, like before it goes all the way down. Because by her doing that, that's taking money out of her pocket, food off of her table, blah, 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 you know. She says what she has to say. Angie saying what she's saying. Meanwhile, 702's like, we ain't been able to rehearse. And as far as this, if they think I'm going to be, they can forget that. Well, girl, I don't think it'll be a big loss without you. You are right, but, you know, that ship has sank too. Um, Angie's looking stupid. Kiki's like, what the fuck is going on? Because she don't know about what's going on. Monifa's like, hmm. Bitch, I'm sorry. I had to set it off. Not set it off, but have something to say. She could not sit up and listen to Angie co continue to do what she was doing. And Angie, girl, you, you, you pretty damn rotten. And I'm thinking that when your daughter, and I guess that's your old man, going to be talking to you, you're going to get mad at them. I think they're going to be telling you, you was wrong. Because why would you do that? I'm trying, I mean, like, really? Is this how you've made it? Like, they removed one snake to get to bring in another one. They slithered your ass right on in. I can't, girl. I can't. Anyway, I told y'all that that damn Angie, her ass, I told y'all about her motherfucking ass. Her ass is crooked. Her ass is all about self. That's all she's about is self and trying to make whatever coin she can make off of this R&B diva shit. But this is what I hope happens. I hope they vote this whole out of her and be done with her. Just like she tried to bring her daughter in and all of these. And I got a song. We're going to do a play, bitches. We're going to be waiting tables, bitches. I got tennis shoes, bitches. I'm telling pussy tomorrow. You know, I can't. I'm going to be throwing these booger wolves out. Girl, go on somewhere. Throw your ass somewhere. Just throw yourself somewhere. Because I'm not here for it. You know, you just rot. But anyway, y'all, that's the just of it. That's the just of what I have to say about the R&B divas and the bad girls club now if y'all want me to go you know scene by scene let me know drop it below and we'll see if we can not come to some type of medium in between you know what i mean see if we can't get some understanding or whatever but like i said a lot of times i'm just wanting to come over come on and say how i feel you know I am going to try to talk about the have and the have nots. I just seen the se second episode today. Well, actually not too long ago because it was recorded. Um, I'm thinking about talking about that. Are y'all with the have and have nots? Are we here for that? Okay. Let me say this real quick. To my bloodies. And to my folks that love the cup of blood. 
I just gotta ask this question. Are y'all ready? Like, am I, I think I said this before, am I the only one that's just dreading that this is going to be the end? Am I the only one thinking if they don't fucking knock this out of the park and end this as it should be, I'm going to be pissed? I don't know, y'all. I'm trying to prepare for that and get geared up for it. I'm good and ready for it to come back but I'm also it's it's also bittersweet because it's I've been on it since it came on and that has been my show my number one hitter absolutely love it y'all know I love it we have just crazy over true blood the wolf the sucker tray all of that shit so hopefully y'all ready for that I um am waiting like I'm making some uh y'all know how I have my bloody bunnies I gotta find my bloody bunnies but for those that are in the group and those that, you know, watch the reviews or whatever, y'all know we bloodies because we watch for blood. So I'm thinking about doing like the little cup and the hat thing. So when I come on and review or whatever, so I'm thinking about putting that in like the spread shirt or t-shirt thing or whatever. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. I'm going to do it anyway because I want one myself. Um, you know, I'm just kind of looking forward to it. I really am, but it's also kind of bittersweet to me. I'm just kind of like I don't know. It's kind of bittersweet. And it'll be good to talk about something other than reality although we are about to go on this emotional roller coaster with the Real Housewives of New Jersey. That's about to be on and them crazy ass twins and Danielle's back y'all. I haven't watched it since season 2. I just stopped. But I'm in with this one. I'm definitely in with this one. Um, Orange is the New Black comes on. I'm hoping when I cut on Netflix. Wait a minute. I got my thing on her, honey. Let me go to it right now. Um, I'm hoping that the shit's on like at 12 o'clock. I don't know. For the, do do y'all watch Orange is the New Black? Like, that's my shit. Like, it starts on the 6th, and I can't wait to see what happened while well, beating that regular mouth ass bitch's ass. Um, I'm trying to go to my... I got it on on the TV up here. Oh, let me see. But are y'all watching this? Oh, where's it at? Mmm... Lord, y'all, where is it at? I don't know. I'm about to find it. Anyway, I ain't going to hold y'all up on that. But y'all let me know. Are y'all going to be watching, looking at Orange is the New Black? Is this something that we need to talk about? Because that show is everything to me. I absolutely love that show. And it comes back on today. Well, it's after 12 or whatever. So, on the 6th. So, let me know if y'all want to talk about that. Just let me know. I'm also going to do a video talking about what's going on in the motherfucking news. What's going on as much as I try to avoid talking about political shit. As much as I love political. I just kind of got to talk about some shit that's going on. Plus, y'all, did y'all see that crazy ass bitch? That called the dude, the nigga, and this and that and other because he started his car and scared her child. Now, the bitch did a radio thing today and said, um, I did that because he almost hit my child. No, bitch, that is not what you were saying on the thing. And you crazy ass bitch. And now her, and I'm sure y'all seen that, and now her uh, kid's father wants to take them. She's like, you know, my life is ruined and all of that and I'm not racist bitch what you mean she said you know really the word does not mean a color whatever which is always what they go to when they want to clean that shit up or rectify the problem you know I'm just glad that the gentleman didn't you know get out he didn't go any further than what he did you know I'm glad of that you know, but I could not believe this bitch. And then, on the radio thing, you want to act like, bitch, you was not, you're not racist. Bitch, what do you mean? Girl, please, honey, me and you both would have been in motherfucking jail that evening. But I'm glad he taped your ass, bitch, and you knew you was in the motherfucking wrong and you was fucked around. 
as he was taping your ass that he was going to put this shit up. And it's a good thing that they have on one end. Yeah, I'm looking in this box I got up here in the cover. Y'all know I be doing every damn thing. On the one end, I, I'm always like, okay. So, people sitting around, you know, taping fights just in that another. But this is the one time, and, you know, when they catch the police doing wrong or whatever, where... I feel like, bitch, I'm glad he had that phone and he got your ass on there. I wish he would have had his girlfriend with him or something. Because him being a man, he didn't have no reason, you know, which it would have been inappropriate to whoop your ass even if his girlfriend was there in front of your children, though. You know, although, you know, and that's who I feel sorry for. Bitch, you lost. And then you had the nerve to say, I didn't strip for half the police. Go on, mask, mask, bitch. What, what? Girl, get on. Mm -mm. You know half of my to strip for him. Okay, well, okay, funky bitch. And you want to call him a nasty ass nigger? Is what, girl? If you don't take your ass back to the trailer park, you better. <coughs> you better. Anywho, y'all, I want to talk about what's going on in the news. Send me your stories. Much love from kygmail.com. Oh, please, please. Don't send me no fucked up ass reaction shit, y'all. Y'all know I can't take that shit. Y'all know I can't take it. But if something y'all want me to talk about, whether it's entertainment news or whatever, I plan on doing this video on Saturday. So email me. Or if you're on the Much Love page, send me a message or whatever. Drop it on the page or whatever. But if you're not, just email me much love from kygmail.com and let me know, you know, you want me to discuss it. We're going to discuss it on Saturday. It probably will be a long video or whatever. You know, hopefully it won't be too hard to go up. Like this motherfucking video is 47 minutes damn near long. Oh, Lord, I talk too much. I really do, y'all. I'm going up on my other channel because I got some stuff. I want to share in some forum, some other uh, makeup shit. Y'all, I cannot wait to tell y'all what has been going on with me in the motherfucking... Y'all... Mm -mm. This motherfucking male issue that I'm having. I, I, I gotta tell y'all about that. I'm definitely going to. And I have another video that I'm putting up about Wisteria Bath and Body. Y'all... Body crack. Let me get it. Because I had the stuff up here by me. Was supposed to have it. You know, I already did the video actually. I was thinking about taking it down because I wanted to redo it. Babies, this motherfucking body souffle from Wisteria Bath and Body. Can y'all? I don't think it's going to focus. Uh uh, it ain't. Please understand that I have used this to. If this was full. Y'all, she has some wonderful products. So be looking for that um, or whatever. But Saturday, we're going to talk about the news. So send your stories or whatever to me. If I left some shit out, which I'm sure y'all would say, well, much love. What about that? Oh, y'all, I fucking forgot to add this on Love and Hip Hop. And Justin reminded me of this shit. When that bitch said we need her pussy facts, I can't. Bitch, they doing pussy facts now? Bitch, that, that was legendary. I don't know how the fuck I left that shit out. I think I was thinking about Mama D and just her alone and her fuckery. But y'all, when that bitch said pussy. Oh, and another thing. Let me add this in. Oh, she, Erica's old dude, the one that models. That motherfucker got a picture in full drag. What? What? Bitch, what? What? That's all I got to say. I can't. can't. What the fuck? Anywho, y'all, we'll talk about that on Saturday. So send y'all shit to me. Let me know what y'all want me to talk about on Saturday. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to say this right fucking now. I'm just going to give my opinion. And I want to hear. I mean, you know, I want to read everybody else's opinion. But we're going to respect each other. Because we don't all think the same way. But as loves, we agree to disagree and go on. I, you know, you have your opinion, I have mine, and we move forward and we have a healthy discussion. I am not going to go through that shit 
of motherfuckers arguing in the comments, this and that and other. And no, we're not going to do that. But we are going to talk about everything. Rand Paul, which one of my loves was like, how do I feel about Rand Paul and that motherfucking turkey neck gobbler? McConnell, that motherfucking turkey neck bitch. Oh, y'all. I feel a whole lot of kind of ways about these motherfuckers around here. These rotten ass, hillbilly ass, huckabuck ass, turkey neck racist ass son of a bitches I'm, I, it, it's what it is and that's how I feel Mitch McConnell does not have the average working person's you know at heart that motherfucker only cares about him and Rand Paul only care about the wealthy and this and that and other and I'm going to lay it all the motherfucking way out and say this and this is my opinion my opinion okay the motherfuckers only see one shade, and that's their shade. Seriously, but we're going to talk about that too. So send that shit to me. Let me know, y'all. So I'm out of here. Much love. Sorry this was so long. I'm out. Much love.